In this morning's woman's doctor, understanding headaches and migraines, although they can attack without warning, there are often triggers and knowing what they are could be a huge help. Some include changes in the weather, dehydration, hormonal changes and over medication. That's according to Mercy Medical Center, Dr. Elena Guiar. She also says if you have more than two headaches in a week, you should seek medical advice for treatment. And Dr. Guiar is joining us now with some more information. Dr. Guiar, if I if I did that every time I had more than two headaches, I'd be in the doctor's office all the time. Is that really true? Well, so uh, the way I see uh, the migraine, um, I'm thinking that the migraine brain is a lot like a toddler. Uh, it needs, we, we need a routine and uh, it doesn't do well with hyperstimulation. So I think we have to start by uh, sleeping well, drinking plenty of water, uh, not skipping meals and uh, eating nutritious food and allowing ourselves some time to exercise or to wind down according to the cases. Even with that, there will still be occasions when we're gonna have uh, headaches. And we have to learn more about what triggers it. So luckily nowadays, it's a little bit easy to keep a um, journal of our headaches but, or by maybe having an app for that and uh, learning what triggers it. Sometimes it's not just one trigger, sometimes there are the addition of more of them. <laughs> and migraines and headaches are two can be two very different things. Migraines can be so debilitating. Some people, it wipes them out for the entire day. It's not just the debilitating aspect of a headache, but also the fear of having a headache when you least expect it. Mm. I think many people with migraines just live in fear. Uh, oh, sure, because of, of how bad the symptoms are. So you say that there are some apps for this out there. I guess I'm not surprised by that, right? Oh, there's an app for everything. Yes, but uh, it does help you understand more the correlation with, you know, with sleep, with that m moment of the month, with the stress level that we're going through. Uh, so we learn more about what, tr uh, what brings on our uh, headaches. And what are some of the treatment options for people who have these severe migraines? So, you know, it starts with regular over-the-counter medication. M many people respond well to that. And that's why I'm saying if you have two types of, two headaches in a week that get better with that kind of medication, you can, you know, take that. But if you find out that your headache is so debilitating that it lasts a few days or it stops you from what you're doing, I ask you to go to the provider and be your best advocate uh, because the newer medication actually uh, improves, is very promising, improves the headache and it has less of that risk of causing over uh, medication overuse headaches. Oh, that's um, really good to know. Dr. Guiar, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me here. You are welcome. And if you have any other questions or you'd like a referral, call 1-800-MD-MERCY.